Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we are going to be building up the base. Oh, don't like that lag. Oh, what's going on there? But yeah, anyway, um, we are going to be building up the base uh, to look nice and fancy maybe put like a hangar door on there make bigger vehicles and stuff so to do this I'm gonna have to obviously go on a couple runs with the uh, I don't know what to call this I'm just gonna call it the, the mining uh, ship whatever and uh, get lots and lots of resources right and then I'm gonna build another little ship not too bigger than uh, like my little uh, rover I forgot there and then um, put lots Meteor of storm inbound. Oh god! I'll put lots of like welders on the on the ship, and then we'll make a ton of steel plates so that we can like really build this place up instead of bit being like not finished. If that makes sense. Oh my god! Please do not destroy my ship. Okay, it looks like it's passed. That's also the, the the reason why I want to build up um, some sort of base like properly because my shit will get destroyed otherwise. So yeah, let's uh, let's crack on, shall we? So uh, let's see what we have first. Let's see how much iron we got. I know I had lots of iron uh, from last time. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Right. Yeah, we got 7k iron. I want lots and lots more of that. We also got the, the more advanced uh, assembler and refinery, so we should be able to get tons of stuff in there. So, uh, yeah. Right. Just going to get some more energy and stuff, and then we'll head out and collect lots of iron from that deposit. I'm also actually going to, um, before I forget, I'm going to grind off the ore detector on here and I'm going to put it on, uh, like the miner. What's that sound? I hear some like weird electronic sound from here. That's strange. Oh my god! Why is this damaged? It's this. This is damaged. Why? Did I take some stuff of it from it and I forgot? Oh dear. The well. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Let's put the ore detector on here then. I actually don't know where, to, where I'm going to put it on there. I guess I could put it up there. Just like that. If I put it there, I won't be able to see you, so... Yeah, I'll just pop it up there. That'll be alright. And then if I get number five... Get like a curved... Oh, I've got no steel plates. Should probably just have lots of steel plates on me at all times. Right. What the? F why? Why? Go away. There we go. Oh. I wasn't expecting it to like go upside down like that. <laughs> right, there we go. That's uh, sort of like fitted in place. We could do another one behind it. Why not? There we go. Voila. Oops. Do these up. If I can. I 
Okay, I guess I can't do that one. Alright. Okay, we're good to go. How much power has these batteries got now? I think it, they are fully charged. Yeah, they are. They're fully charged now, which is cool. Uh, so, engines on, uh, batteries on auto, and we should be ready to go. Yep, we should have nothing in us. Goody, good, good. Right, let's go off to the iron, which was over here. Right, there we go. Now we can get to that iron, get to that good stuff. Now we, now, ladies and gentlemen, now we've uh, got all our resources and stuff. We can start making this base look a bit like a base and not just like some platform out in the middle of nowhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drive this off out of the way. Just around there. And I'm going to make this platform really big on the inside. Um, yes. Right. Okay, right, let's get rid of these first. Okay. It's fine. Oh, great. Because of, because of that, I, I won't be able to like place some stuff. There we go. Right. Let's get on making this base look very nice. Hello everyone, and welcome back. That was probably a big old cut there. I was gonna um, do a time lapse of me building everything, but it just it was just lots and lots of footage that was just like it's not needed, and my memory is uh, running low because <laughs> I need to edit everything still. So yeah. It, if you look around, I have built walls and a ceiling, and look at this, a nice little hanger with a hanger door. That works. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Hey, and I've parked my car in here. The drilling ship is on the roof. And, um, yeah. I've got like a little door here that leads to the outside. The outside stuff still needs to be made. Um, and then that little room that I was about to show you is just like stairs, stairs going down and stuff. And this is where he is. Um, I need to make it so the, um, the landing gear is just one shorter. And then I can put this down into the ground so it looks a little bit nicer and I can also maybe uh, pipe up under the under the ground and um, 
Let me get down these stairs. Oh my god. Um, close that door. Yeah, pipes under the ground from there, and then it will come up in here so I can park him in here. But I can still keep that out there just as a quick, like a quicker drop off point. But when he's like dormant and he's charging and stuff, you can just sort of sit in here for a bit, you know? Yeah, that's about it that I've done so far. That's probably taken me about an hour to do all of this, and then I've still got to, like, do all of that, but I'm, I honestly can't be asked to do that just yet. Oh, I've got, like, ramps going up here as well, which... All of this costs, like, construction components and all of the rest of it, so... Yeah, I can't be asked to do any of that. Uh, but yeah, the base is looking good. Um, I almost ran out of storage early. I don't know if I said that before, but yeah, I almost ran out of storage. And I was thinking maybe I could just fill the, uh, fill up this sort of void here with cargo containers, like all the way up, sort of thing. And then I have like tons, tons of space. And then I could also get some upgrade modules on the side of this refinery to make it a lot quicker and stuff. It's already quite quick. But, um, yeah, it could always do with being a lot quicker. The next thing that I suppose we could do is to go to space. And uh, to do that, I want a ton of ice because obviously. I want to be using the hydrogen uh, thrusters and stuff, and they take a lot of ice. So I need some sort of. I know I've got like lots of ice just sort of sitting there. I could probably pick that up now, actually. I'll go get my car, and I'll pick it up and put it in a in the uh, thing. I'll make sure I put everything away. Here we go on our little adventure. It's fairly easy to get out of there. Just gotta be careful. And let's pick up that ice down there. Whoa. Did you see that? The uh Is that okay? How much battery do I have? In this. Stored power, 12 watts. Oh my god, that's really low. That's really low charged. It's like got hardly any charge in it. Yeah. Uh, we've got a good amount of um, <laughs> electricity coming from the, the solar panel, so that should be okay. Inventory full. See how much weight this guy can handle. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I thought these bushes were more ice, but I don't think it... Yeah, I swear there was lots more ice that rolled down here. Oh well, I guess that's it now. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely need a charging port for this guy, because... Um, I didn't realise... I think I said in the last video, or this video, that... Um, I just sort of realised that the solar panel was broken somehow. Whee. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Solar panel's broke, but I fixed it. So I guess I could just sit him outside. Oh, make sure to put the brakes on. Just sit him outside for a bit and then because I hardly ever use him, so Okay. 
to just put this away. Um, but yes, I want to make a like really big, crazy um, mining thing over there. Which I think is going to be quite annoying because I'm going to be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I definitely need something that's going to be a lot bigger than this and holds a ton of cargo. That I can bring a ton of steel plates down there and stuff and get lots of ice and then I'll be able to bring all that ice back as well. So, I want to build a bigger thing. <laughs> Something that's going to fit in here and have large cargo containers, big wheels and stuff. Okay. I'm not even sure I want to build it in, inside here because if I end up building too big or if I accidentally off center it and stuff it'll be like really annoying so I'm just going to build it outside so let's get the uh, uh, landing pad first are done, uh, the cargo containers are done, cockpit, then that's like about it really, I think, that's all I wanted to do, um, I'm just thinking what else I could put on here, how much do they hold, 15,000? And there's only like, I would only, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I need to figure out when they're full, like how much 
I can um, do whatever. I can't speak today. Oh, it's big on those two sides, but not on the others. Oh yeah, solar panels. Let's get them on there. There we go. I oh, know it's just about to be night time, so there won't be any power for this guy. I swear I keep hearing something every now and then, like footsteps. And I swear it's, I swear it's not my footsteps. Strange. This monster. Thing can jump, man. So this thing is basically oh my god, look at that. One of the solar panels is slightly higher than the other. How annoying is that? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that later on. I can't be asked to do it now. But look at that, the power is is pretty good. Hey. Join me next episode when I build a ship that will get me into space. Or try anyway. <laughs> and then maybe in the future I'll get uh, a big old mining rig over the ice. Okay, right. I'll see you later.